This is Degaros MPC, Math, Physics, Computing, 130 plus Masters and PhD level courses on pure mathematics and mathematical physics. This is course number four, so MPC four, on linear algebra, which is a junior and senior level course. This is lecture two. Uh, on the theme of uh, linear equations and this is session B. <clears throat> uh, so the previous session we introduced the concept of a linear equation and it took the form of uh, no, linear means simply that the power of these unknowns are all one. Okay. That's the definition of linear equation. On the right-hand side, you have the so-called constant of the equation. So here's a concrete example of a linear equation. You have four uh, unknowns or variables, x, y, z, w, or alternatively x1, x2, x3, x4. All right? Now, <coughs> to, solve, to solve this equation, what does that mean? It means that you give values to x and y and z and w so that the left hand side equals the right hand side that's that's so so uh, the value of x y z and w that will be uh, make it a list say a horizontal list that will be a uh, a four tuple okay and here's here's an example of a four tuple so just four numbers in a in a in a row so uh now let's see if this four tuple three two one zero <laughs> is a solution to this equation. Now, uh, uh, again, uh, what does that mean? It means if you uh, if this is a solution to that equation, that means if you put x to be three and your y to be two and your z to be one and your w to be zero. So if you plug in uh, those numbers into this, this uh, left-hand side, if the result of the left-hand side equals the number, you know, the constant of the equation on the right-hand side, then that uh, n-tuple, in this case 4-tuple, is said to be a solution of this equation. Okay, so well, let's actually do it. So we'll plug in... So let x be 3, and we'll let y be 2, and z be 1, and w be 0. So here, here it is. Uh, so 1 times x, so it'll be 1 times 3, plus 2 times y, so it'll be 2 times 2. And then minus 4 times z, which is 1, so here. And uh, 0, because that's w0, zero, 0 here. Okay? <coughs> well, so it's 3 plus 4 minus 4, so these two cancel plus naught, so you're just left with 3, which is, so the left-hand side is 3, and the right-hand side is 3, and therefore, this uh, four-tuple is a solution to this equation, all right? Well, let's do a counter-example. Uh, is this four-tuple a uh, solution to this equation, this linear equation? Well, uh, just again, just plug in, you know, that, that will be your x value, your y value, your z value, your w value. So just plug plug them in. So uh, so you uh, x is what one, uh, y is two. So two times two, and z is four. So minus four times four. So it'll be minus sixteen. Uh, and w is five. Just add five. So here he, here it is. So you get one plus four minus sixteen plus five. Uh, what is that? Uh, five minus sixteen. So minus eleven minus seven, minus six, minus six. Now, the left-hand side is minus six, the right-hand side is three, so they don't agree. Therefore, uh, this tuple, this four tuple here, is not a solution to this linear equation, okay? Because the left-hand side does not equal the right-hand side. When you plug in these, or substitute, these values for, for these four unknowns, all right? So this four tuple, is not a solution to this linear equation. Uh, 
All right, so we give, we're given this one equation, uh, how, how to solve it. In other words, rem remember to, to solve an equation is to find an n-tuple of concrete values so that the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So how, how to do it? Um, there, there are three cases that we can use to... We can find solutions in, uh, to, for three different cases of this single uh, linear equation. In, uh, in other words, we have a system or a set of uh, linear equations where the, no the number of elements in the set is just one. Okay. Uh, later we'll do it for more than, we'll have a system that's uh, of linear equation, equations, plural, there's more than one. But for the moment we just have one, okay? And, and uh, this, there are three different cases for this uh, linear equation. Uh, the first case, I, I just mentioned, so case one, case two, case three, uh, I'll just describe them quickly. Case one is uh, that at least one of these uh, coefi coefficient, yeah, coefficients, you know, so 1, 2, minus 4, 1, uh, non-zero. Okay? The second case is uh, all these coefficients here are zero, but the, the constant of the equation here, b, is non-zero. Okay, so all the coefficients. So the second case is all the coefficients here are not uh, are zero, but the constant of the equation here b is not zero. That's the second case. Third case is where all the coefficients here in the equation are zero, and the constant b here is also zero. Okay, there, there are three cases, and we will find and we'll develop techniques to find solutions. In other words, uh, concrete values for these x, y, z, and w. In other words, a four-tuple of, of numbers, uh, real numbers we're talking about for the moment. Uh, we're confining ourselves initially to just the real numbers. Uh, later, we'll do complex numbers. Uh, so we'll try and find a solution uh, or solutions to uh, these four cases. All right, so uh, case one. You have at least one of the coefficients uh, is non-zero. Okay, so let, let, let's just see. Take a so say so take the case where the first coefficient here is uh, non-zero. So um, so this now the gen, the general form of a linear equation will be of the form a one x one plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 dot 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 plus a n x n. The a's are called the coefficients. The x's are called the variables or the indeterminants or the, there was a third term, what, what, yeah, just, just a minute, I'm trying to remember it. What was the third term called? Oh, unknown, unknowns. <coughs> Okay, so uh, so the general form of this will be a one x one plus a two x two dot 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 etc equals b. So uh, now we're assuming that uh, the first the coefficient of the first unknown a one is non-zero. Okay, so keep keep this on the left hand side and and all the other two all, all these other ones you know the a two x two dot 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 a n x n. Uh, subtract both sides by all those. Uh, in other words, put 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 all those uh, from a two to a n all those terms uh, on the right hand side. So you just sub subtract it, subtract both sides. So you'll get something of this form. So you have a one x one equals b, and then all the other terms uh, you take over the other side, subtract. So note that i now ranges from two to n. Right, because you've got the, the, the A1 term is on the left-hand side, and all the rest. Okay, now divide both sides by A1. Uh, and remember, um, 
this, the assumption is that A1 is non-zero, so you can divide, you, you, you're not going to be dividing by zero. So divide both sides by A1, and you'll get, you just be left with that X1 here on the left. So uh, X1 will be this. So you're dividing B by A1, and you're dividing this sum by A1. So that's the right-hand side. Okay, so you can find a value for X1, by ha and, and now all these A's, all these A's uh, assume known, right? And you can plug in any value you like for these XI's, anything. And then calculate what this right-hand side is, and that will be the solution to X1. So whatever you choose for X2, X3, X da 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 XN, uh, whatever, whatever they are, you can calculate, calculate what X1 will be, right? And so you've now got actual numbers for x1, x2, dot, 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 xn. Well, that's a solution to, to, your, to your linear equation. Well, in the general form, your a1, a2, a3, a4, dot, dot, dot. Well, let's, uh, let's do an actual example uh, of, of that technique where uh, let's assume that the first coefficient is non-zero. So you, you take all the others the other AI, XI, you, the sum of them, and you take that over the other side. So let's do it. So here's, here's an example of a, a concrete uh, single linear equation. So here's, here's the AI, it's non-zero. So re, rewrite this. So, so in other words, take this sum here and take it over the other side. So you'll get 2X equals 8 plus 4y minus z, okay? Uh, okay, now divide through both sides by the first coefficient, so a1. In this case, it's 2. So divide both sides by 2. So you'll be left with x equals uh, 2y minus a half z, okay? Now, to find values for x, uh, we can take any values we want, any, well, we're talking real, so any, any real values, anything, uh, for y and z. So let's take a concrete example. Uh, keep it simple. Well, let's just choose y is 3 and z equals 2. Well, just plug the, the values for y, which is 3, and the value for z, which is 2, into, into this formula, and you, you can calculate the value of x. Uh, so if y is 3 and z is 2, then x equals, well, you just use the formula, 4 plus 2y. So that's 2 times 3 minus a half z. Well, what's z? z? Z is 2, so you put a 2 in here. So that'll be 4 plus 6 minus 1. So it's 10 minus 1, that's 9. So you found the value for x1, or in this case, just x, right? It's 9. So the... Th so you now have a solution to your equation, your linear equation, which is here. So uh, we, we calculated that x was 9. We just uh, said that uh, y was 3 and um, z is 2. Uh, so, so y and z are arbitrary. You can, you can choose whatever you like. But whatever you choose, you can use them to calculate what your x should be. Now, in this case, when y is 3 and z is 2, x turns out to be 9. Okay, so this 3 tuple, uh, 9, 3, 2, is a solution to this equation. Okay? All right, now, uh, so that, that, that was a, uh, an, uh, an example for uh, case 1. Now, uh, case 2, uh, remember what case 2 is? Case 2 says... All the coefficients here of your equation, all your a's, your ai's, are zero. But the constant of the equation, b, uh, is non-zero. Okay? So, uh, in that case, you had no solution. Because, why is that? Because the left-hand side cannot equal the right-hand side. And why is that? Because in case 2, b, the constant of your equation, is non-zero. But if all the coefficients, all the a's, the ai's, on the left-hand side, if they're all zero, then the left-hand side is zero. 
So you've got 0 equals b. In other words, b is 0. But, but that can't be because you've assumed that b is non-zero. So you've got a contradiction. So that means there is no solution uh, in that case. So you, you, there, there, just, there isn't a solution. There's no solution in, in case two. Okay, case three. What's case three again? That's the case where all the coefficients, you know, all your a's, your ai's, are zero. And the constant of the equation, b, is also zero. Well, in that case, your, your xi's can be anything you like. Why is that? Because you'll have an equation of this form. All your coefficients here, now, this is case three, they're all zero. So this left-hand side here, uh, this term will be zero. The summing of zeros is zero. So the whole thing, the left-hand side will be zero. And the right-hand side, b is, you know, the constant of the equation, b, is now zero. So you've now got the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. In other words, zero equals zero. So that's okay. So whatever you choose for your unknowns, you know, or n of them, uh, that will be a solution for case three. So any, any, n, any n tuple um, will be a, uh, a solution to, to your linear equation. So, uh, okay, so we've, done, we've covered the three cases. All right, now the next uh, session, uh, the next side of the board and the next board will uh, so that that will be the next session will be uh, lecture two session c the next one uh, we we will start talking about a system of linear equations in other words more than one uh, now just remember when you hear the term a bit of revision you hear the term a system of linear equations you're just talking about a set so more than more than one uh, there's a set of linear equations where there's more than one linear equation. And often, uh, you know, by having several linear equations, that enables you to solve for the, the unknowns, the, the variables, you know, your x, x, i's. And uh, there are a lot of techniques for doing that, and that will be a substantial portion of this chapter. So I'll stop there. Ciao.